This video is supported by AC Infinity. Six months ago on the channel, we did a unboxing and product review for the AC Infinity Cloudline T4 inline fan that quickly has become the most popular video on the channel. Today, we're gonna do an unboxing and product review for the AC Infinity Rexel S4 inline booster duct fan with speed controller. Now you may be wondering what exactly is an inline booster fan and how do you use it? Well, an inline booster fan is made to be installed in between ducting for various applications, be it boosting airflow from a HVAC unit or ventilating an attic, workshop, or even a kitchen. For us, we're using it inside of our grow tent. You can also use it in a grow room or your indoor garden. It's primarily used as an intake fan to bring in fresh air, but you can also use it to give you additional CFM and extra airflow with your inline fan that you're using for your tent or your grow room. Please keep into consideration that a inline booster fan cannot be used standalone. In high pressure applications like room ventilations, you can use it as a booster, but you cannot use it as a standalone fan. So now that you know what an inline booster is and what it does, let's unbox this and let me show you exactly what it comes with. So you can see the box says Raxel S4 inline duct fan. We're gonna take it out. Right here, if you look closely, you're gonna see the direction of the airflow. You see it says airflow direction. It's very important that you pay close attention to that so that you put your inline booster the right way. The next thing that we have here is the controller that is gonna control the speed in which you want your inline booster to go. Now really quickly here, let me address something. Right now, you're gonna see me put on the silver ducting onto the inline booster, but you're gonna notice at the end of the video where I actually have the black AC Infinity ducting on the unit. The reason why you see me actually putting on the silver ducting on the unit right now is because right here if you look you can see whenever i installed the inline fan you can see that i'm using the silver ducting after thinking about it i actually decided to go with the full ac infinity unit i end up using the inline fan the carbon filter the ducting the tent everything from ac infinity that actually leads us right into our sponsor. Now everything that you see in the video, I actually paid for everything myself, but I do wanna thank AC Infinity. I am now sponsored by AC Infinity. So you can use base drop keys to get 15% off any order on the AC Infinity site. Now most people know AC Infinity from their great inline fan and ventilation systems, but they do have a vast variety of products on their site. It doesn't matter if you decide to get the trellis nets or the fabric pots or the seedling heat mats, anything that's on the AC Infinity site. Also, they're gonna be sponsoring the grow that I'm gonna be doing on my main YouTube channel, Good Eats 420. So if you haven't already subscribed to Good Eats 420, make sure you come over and subscribe to my main YouTube channel. Thank you once again to AC Infinity. Check out their website use base drop keys to get 15% off your order. So as we talked about previously, I put the ducting onto the unit, as you can see. I'm showing you how the cord attaches to the unit. The same cord that you use for the speed controller is also the same cord that you use as the power cable. Now that we have everything plugged up, I'm going to run this inline booster so you can hear it. Here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna check this out. So turn it on here. Here's low. Oh, it's a little low. There we go. Medium. Turn it on high. And there's high. Very nice. So the next thing that we have to cover is actually the installation of our inline booster. But first, I'm gonna add some more value to this video for you guys. What I'm about to do before I install my inline booster is I'm actually about to install some Panda film. 
Now Panda film is a poly film that is usually black on one side and white on the other side. The black side will actually absorb the light, whereas the white side will actually reflect the light. So that means that you can use this Panda film for multiple reasons. You can take the Panda film and with the white side, you can put it on the floor or you can put it on the wall and actually reflect that light back to your plants. What I'm gonna do right here is you can see me actually taking down the curtains and I'm gonna put this Panda film up with the white side facing outside. The reason why I'm doing that is because whenever the light, the sunlight hits the white side of the Panda film, is gonna reflect it back outside. If we have any light leaks or any pinholes inside of our tent, if there's no sunlight in the room itself, we don't have to worry about the light leaks because you know light leaks can actually cause your plants to hermy. Also by us using this Panda film, that is another way that we can control the temperature inside of our room where we have our grow tent. By not letting the light come inside the room, that's gonna help keep the room cool also by us doing this is going to help keep the temperature inside the tent at a certain temperature so that way we don't have a lot of discrepancy when it comes to the temperature of our tent in order to put the panda film up i'm actually just using some double-sided tape if you want to get some panda film for yourself i got this off of amazon i'll put the link in the description click on it and you can get your panda film from over there so the reason why I'm using the Panda film is one, in case we have any pinholes in our tents, we don't have to worry about light leaking in because we're blocking all the sunlight from coming inside of our room. Also, because we're blocking the light coming inside the room and we're reflecting it back outside, that's gonna help us regulate the temperature of the room, which means that the temperature inside of the tent is gonna remain a constant and we won't have a lot of changes. So now that I've gone over everything that you need to know about the Panda film, let's get back to the installation of our inline booster. If you look right here, you can see where at the beginning of the video, I told you that I was using the silver ducting. You can actually see it right there. I'm replacing that out with the black ducting from AC Infinity, and we're gonna install our inline booster. What I'm doing is the ducting that usually would go from the inline fan to outside wherever you're venting in it. I'm actually cutting that in half and I'm placing the inline booster right in the middle of that. Now, some of you may be wondering or thinking as you're watching this, why would I buy an inline booster when I can just buy another fan? Well, if you wanted to get a T6 for instance, that's gonna cost you $150. If you wanna get this inline booster, it's only gonna cost you $26 and you're gonna get a discount by using my name. So just by buying this inline booster, you can increase your CFM by 106. So in reality, if you're looking to get more airflow from your unit, you wanna bring down the temperature, you wanna help out your inline fan, all you need to do is purchase this inline booster. You don't have to get another inline fan. You can simply get this inline booster and it will help circulate your airflow for your grow room or your grow tent. So all I had to do to complete this installation is after I cut the ducting in half, I put the inline booster in the middle of it. I put the ducting on both sides of the inline booster, making sure once again that the air direction is pointed the right way. And then I connected that to the vent that I have going outside and the job is complete. Once I hang up my controller. The controller has low, medium, and high on it. I basically was using it at high whenever it comes on. The way that I set up my system, and you can do it however you wanna do it, but whenever my inline fan is working, I also have my booster working as well, so that they're working together as one system, and I have enough airflow in order to fulfill everything that I need in my five by five tent. So guys, that's it. I hope that this video helped you out. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for all the love. Until I see you guys the next time. Peace, Bass Drop Militia. I'm out. Much love.